Okay, so we've got prevail in the Mediterranean next. So what have we got? Wind condition, sink 40% of enemies, sink 100% of BB, keep alive 35% of allies. Right, so <clears throat> we've got to sink all three battleships, so we're going to need torpedoes probably. 40%, um, 3, 10, 14, 19, 25, so 10. So we've got to sink 10 enemies, 3 of these and 7 of these. We've got to keep alive 35%, 10, 12, 14, 14. So we've got 16 and we need to keep alive 35% was it? So uh, we need to keep alive 6 of them. Right, okay. Well, obviously because I'm only designing the battleship, I can't really go too torpedo heavy. So I've just stuck two, uh, five uh, quintuple decks on. Just so once I've dealt with everything else, I can then close the distance and uh, fire a couple of loads of torpedoes at the battleship. So yeah, that's my design. It's a really slow ship. I should probably increase the speed, but I don't intend on getting close to the enemy with this ship. So it's, uh, it's got four times four 20 inch guns on so I'm just going to be blasting them from long range and then if I can't finish them off I'll go in when they're crippled and fire some uh, torpedoes at them. So I've just got it on fast propulsion I might be better off with this type of ship just having it on oxygen and just firing them from long range I don't know I'd have to rejig it a little bit, so I'll just leave it on fast for now. So we've got loads of uh, armor. I could probably put some more on the deck, to be honest with you, because I am staying at long range. It'd probably be wise to strip some of this off and put it on the uh, main deck. So we might do that. We'll knock that down to three. That down to one. I don't even need superstructure. So I'm not going to get close to them. That's probably plenty. So I can put this in the deck now, the main deck I should say. Because I am just going to be engaging from super long range. To be fair, I could probably do with putting some of this into this uh, top turret. Taking some off the deck. Hmm, I might just go with nothing on the aft deck. Yeah, I think I might just do that, because I'm staying at long range, so I don't particularly need it.
so that should be fine. Might be able to just get a tiny bit more crew training in. Just one. Okay, so that's what we've got. A really slow, really heavily armed long range ship that's got some torpedoes if, uh, if the enemy battleships get close. Right, off we go. Sorry, I had the mic muted. So it looks like they can practically uh, shoot me straight off the bat. So I'm just going to turn away from them immediately. Not completely away, but relatively away. <laughs> So I just want to shoot their battleships really, because that's what the uh, the main mission is. I can't win if I don't destroy the battleships, so that'll be where I start. And then uh, with everything else, I think I'll just hang back um, and then just tell them all. Uh, tell tell one to go in one at a time, just to see if I can uh, pick off a few of the destroyers one by one. So what have we got here? Two heavy cruisers. Looks like he's gonna be a pain in the ass. And then light cruisers. In fact, I'll join him onto him. He can join on the back. And then it's all just destroyers after that. So he can be the one that goes in first. That's not great, getting hit at that range. So he's got um, 10 kilometer range and fast torpedoes, that's not particularly brilliant.
So we managed to get one torpedo hit. It's not fantastic, but it's better than nothing. Well, we got one torpedo hit and we got them to waste some of their torpedoes, so it wasn't the end of the world. Unfortunately, I forgot to put him on hold fire, but we can just fire the torpedoes anyway. So that's a pretty good arc that he's firing them. And he even got a hit on one of them. That's amazing. I'm just going to pause it one second. I don't usually pause. But I just want to have a quick look to see who the back, um, the back of the line is basically. Ah, he's got two ships pointing at him, so he does not need to be there, so he can be the one. Now because these are going 19, everyone else behind needs to be set at 19, otherwise they're just going to be uh, trying to overtake. So it looks like we've almost managed to take out one of the battleships already with the 20 inches. So we're doing alright, we've got one battleship down, two to go.
So we've got some torpedoes fired off at that light cruiser. Hopefully they'll do some damage. got a couple of nice lucky hits and then we got a nice hit so everything's going quite well so far They might have fired their torpedoes at me, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a evasive maneuver. Only a little bit of one, though. So I don't remember <laughs> how many ships I needed to save. Was it 35% and I had 16 so I needed to stick, save 6 of them? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I lose all my destroyers it's not the end of the world or <laughs> the end of the game. At least I believe that's the case anyway. torpedoes I was talking about. Unfortunately I did take one. But I think we did a fairly decent job of uh, evading. Looks like we might have even managed to take out one of the battleships already. Happy days, so one to go. So we're well on the way to victory in this battle. Doing really well.
So unfortunately this destroyer's only got three torpedoes. He's uh, primarily just for taking out other destroyers. Well, there you go. It looks like all we needed to do was take out the battleships. We didn't need to take out the rest of them. You really need to change that on the on the wind conditions screen. You need to change this uh, comma to a, a dash so you know that it's either or not this dash uh, comma. Sorry. So yeah, with a comma, it's basically it's like saying and, but a dash, it's either or. So yeah, we could really do with changing that. So yeah, if you're ever wondering how to beat this mission, you only need to uh, take out the battleships. <laughs> right, cheers for watching, guys. Thank you very much. Take care, and I'll see you soon.